Hello, this is Sausage Fingers, and welcome to a very bare bones tutorial on Star Citizen. I'm going to think, cover things like movement, basic camera, dying, ships, ship spawning, selecting missions, the Moby Gloss, basic ship controls, quantum, landing, takeoff, stuff like that. You get into the game and there's no hand holding at all. This is where you start. So to get out of bed, you press W or any movement control. W A N W A S and D is basic movement. Now to walk, you scroll right down with your mouse and you will walk. How far you scroll up with your mouse determines how fast you move. Control is crouch, space is jump. Okay, shift is sprint. Now to interact with doors and stuff. Any interaction, you can either tap the F key if there's only one option, or if you want more options, you can hold down the F key. You'll get this icon and then you can left click wherever it is on the screen that you would like to click. I will do the tap. Chat's popped up, so what I'm going to do, I don't want the chat to pop up, so I'm going to press F12 to close the chat. If I want to open it, I press F12 again. It will keep opening every time you die or change scenarios. If you want to type in the chat, you hit return, enter. Same to get rid of the chat. I'm going to turn the chat off. Now, you will always wake up in an easy hab unless you have already logged out in your ship, like in a bed. Basically, a bed is the ship's spawny place. Wherever, where, regardless of wherever you are in the world, you will start off in an easy hab the first time, and there will be elevators somewhere. There is no internal maps. You don't knock up. You don't knock up at a truck stop in the real world, and there be, and you already have a map of where you're going. So it's just kind of the same here. You have to find the elevators. We found them. And again, I can either tap F, always listen for the noise, otherwise it hasn't worked, or you can hold it, call elevator. Luckily, it was already here. They are live in the world, i.e. they are not a spawn elevator. So if someone else is using it, you'll have to wait for it to arrive. Now, I want to go to the lobby. Again, holding down the F key, I moved my mouse, and that gave me the different options on where I could go. To get out of the options, i.e. if it's open, a little screen that says lobby and stuff, if you want to get out of that, simply walk away from the screen or terminal that you're using and that will happen. Right, so again, I spend most of my life in this game lost pretty much. You are going to have to find the security station where you can spawn your ships. So I have no idea where we're going, but we will work it out. If you notice frame rate drops and stuff like that, chances are it isn't your PC, it is the game. Especially a free fly weekend, I just don't bother playing because it runs like poo. Okay, to optimise your game a little bit, you can press escape, go to options, same in any other game, go to your graphics. One of the biggest things you can do to make Star Citizen run better is install it on an SSD as opposed to a normal hard drive. Even if it's an external SSD, it will still run a lot better than it would on a normal hard drive, regardless of your graphics card, RAM, all that malarkey. I, I've not got a great PC and this is how I'm running it. Motion blur I turned off because I don't like it at all, even a little bit. Righty, I don't know where we're going. Cassaba, clothes shops. If I want to interact with clothes, I simply press on F. It gives me a price. I can buy or I can try on the jackets. We won't go through that though. That's kind of for you to experiment. Now, gameplay. Okay, little cues to get you pointing in the right direction. I can see landing pads out there. So chances are security terminal is going to be over here somewhere. There it is. I've never been to this station before, so I don't know where I'm going. These are your ship terminals. This is where you collect a ship from. If you're on a planet, you might have to get a train. If you're lost, head to the Metro Center. The Metro Center will give you lifts to places such as spaceports. Obviously, a spaceport, being a spaceport, is where you're gonna inevitably get your ship from. There will be elevators here as well. Right, so we can either tap F or hold down F. This time, I'm going to tap it. Try and get central on these screens. If you go over here, it'll open the screen like that. So, as you would in the real world, look at the screen, press F. Now you can choose your ships. I'm gonna start with an Aurora MR because it's what most people will start with. Uh, yeah, we'll go. Another case as well. If your ship is on a pad, you can't see mine because I've got a ton of ships in here. 
But if your Aurora MR is on a pad and you don't know where it is, come to a ship terminal, have a look, and it will say here what landing pad it is on. That helps because it determines what elevator you get in or what floor you go to. I'll show you what I mean. Retrieve. Pay attention to what pad or landing bay you're going to. Pad one. Okie dokie. So we can jump in any elevator because they're magic. They go sideways, up E and down E and backwards and forwards and all the things. So I'm going to an elevator. Listen for the click. There we go. Now I go up to this and I have to hold down F. And I can't remember where we're going. I think it was pad one. If you've got a bigger ship, chances are it will be in a hangar rather than a pad. Okay, so here's your space ship. And before we take off, I am going to show you some more character movement. First of all, I am going to change my view using the F4 key. I'm going to press the F4 key again to zoom out a little bit into third person. Now, I'm going to hold down the Z key. And now moving my mouse, I can move around. That is the same for in the ship as well. That's how you get those external views. There are a lot more things you can do with the camera, but this is a basic tutorial. I'll switch back to first person. Now to EVA, i.e. extravehicular activity or doing the space movie stuff, we'll change into third person with F4 and we will just jump off the end. Now, okay, W, A, S and D is forwards, backwards, left and right. Space is up, control is down. If you go forwards and press shift, you will boost. Be careful, it takes you a while to stop. If you're boosting really fast and you hit a wall, it's going to work. It would. I should imagine, in real life. Now, when you're landing, don't fly like Superman. <laughs> fly like a peoply, folks, with your feet pointing downwards. If you fly like Superman, this happens. You go floppy and fall on floor. It takes you ages to get up, by which time you've probably been shot and die and stuff. Now, what I do is I do grown-up flyy flappy and landy. Okie dokie. You won't interact with objects such as these. Um, yeah, let's pretend, for instance, we've got mag boots on and they only interact with pads. If you land from too high, like this, you hurt your legs generally. All right, I didn't that time. Ouch. Okay, I did. I actually died. Good time to point out what we do if we die. We wake up in fart sack. We just go do it again. Now I can go to straight to pad one now because that's where my ship is. Right, you can see your ship up there. It's 1,070 metres away. But for the sake of argument, I can't remember where my ship is. So what I'm going to do, because it's on a pad, I don't have to claim it. I can simply retrieve it. It might not work because I've got so many ships in there. There it is. I can't actually see what pad it's on. On pad there you go so I can take it back to storage once I've taken it back to storage that will change and go back to retrieve now if that was the next one up i.e. if you've got one ship it'll be at the top you'll be able to see what pad it's on so I'm gonna go back to pad one so that's how you find a lost ship in a station and not so not so much a problem on a station but on a planet where there's like 10 plus different places to park is it can be an issue Okay, so here we are. Now, up in the top right, you will see a little pew-pew bullet. That pew-pew bullet with the cross the outy liney thing means that you can't do the pew-pew. I am pressing my draw weapon button, and I cannot draw a weapon. I cannot melee. I cannot hit, punch, bite, scratch, or anything. To get into a ship, we go up to the door, and we either hold down F, gives us different options. We can just open the door, open the ladder, or we can enter the ship. Or we can just tap F, and we will get into the ship. There, like this, the door will close by itself and you get in. Your doors are by default locked so that another player can't get in. This is your little beddy boys. I will let you explore that for yourself. Ship's chair. Now, again, you can hold down F or you can just tap F. There might be different seats all on the same screen, so that's why you need to hold it down if you have got more seats. There are different ways of starting your ship. You can hold down F and you can go flight ready. 
which will turn everything on that needs to be turned on to take off. Or you can put your power on, which will engage your power and your shields and stuff. Or somewhere down here is engines only. There it is, engine on, engine off. So what I am gonna do though, is I am gonna hit the default key, which is R, Romeo. That's basically, that basically puts it into flight ready mode. Now notice, my shields are down. They will take a while to come up. There you go, they're just starting to come up now. Now, if you are in a hangar and the doors are closed, you need to ask for takeoff clearance. Once you've asked for takeoff clearance, they will open the doors. And you do that by holding down F, come across your MFD, your multifunctional display, press menu, and go to comms. Once you have gone to comms, you'll see there, it might be at the bottom, so you can scroll down with your mouse wheel. Whoa. Shallow Frontier Station. Now, you can press this, and it will basically give you permission to take off. You are clear to launch. There you go, you are clear to launch. If there was a hangar, now the hangar doors would start opening. Wait for them to open all the way before you take off, or you'll crash into them. Now, flight controls taking off. Don't take off forwards like an aeroplane. You have skiddy things, not wheely things. First of all, before you take off, look up. Make sure there are no other space ships. If you crash into a space ship in monitored space, you will get a crime stat. And then people will come after you and make you all of the dead. It is all clear above me, so I'm going to press space to take off. You might wobble a bit. You might have to steer a little bit. You have pressed space. Now you stop. The idea is to clear the pad as quickly as you can. It's nice and quiet though. I'm in third person pressing F4 and I'm going to go hold down Z to look around. And now I'm going to press end for November. And that is going to put away my landing gear. Now if you have a ship that with turny rocket booster things, you could now press J. And J would change your vertical thrusters into horizontal thrusters. Like uppy movement into forwardsy movement. You don't have to worry about that with a starter ship though. I'm going to change back to my normal default view. Now, throttling up. W, movement again is W, A, S and D. S is backwards, W forwards, A is strafe left, D is straight right, strafe right. Now you'll notice the little circle reticle thing. Now if I thrust sideways, I'm thrusting, I've let go now, but it's still going right. You will move for a while after you've let go of the controls. I'm gonna move away a little bit. Now you notice I'm going in the red zone. The red zone is, let's call it overboost. Now this is the ideal, at that red line, the ideal safe flight speed. We'll, yeah, we'll call it that for simple sake. Now to change that, you scroll up with your mouse wheel. Scroll up and down with your mouse wheel. This will lock your speed in essence. It will lock it there. I'm at full throttle, but it will lock there. There we go, I can put it down to there. There it says I am leaving an armistice zone. You'll notice there's no more pew pew thing up in the top right. Now I can fire. I'm not gonna tell you how to do missiles and stuff like that, because if you want to know, you press escape, you press options. You can go to key bindings, and your ships will be here, look. Uh, your controls will be here. You can change that between on foot and flight. There's your essential keys. If, for instance, you have a HOTAS and you want to change to HOTAS, which is no mean feat in this game, you go to options, you go to key bindings, joystick HOTAS, advanced controls customization, controller profiles, I know, right? Cytec X52, then, you have got to load them in. So I'll change that to joystick, change that to joystick, then press load. Then your joystick will work. If you're a mouse, no problem. Press escape to get back into the game. Okay, so we got movement down to a T. We've got spinny with Q and E. X is space break, say you're going flat out. B 
big asteroid rock of doom in front of you you need to stop you put the throttle down it takes ages to slow down you can press x this does use your engine and you may overheat so you just lay off the brakes a little bit until your engines have got back, gone back down again switching power between engines weapons and shields you hold down f and you can basically just drag this we'll zoom in a little bit this one is weapons you drag that across power to weapons power to shields power to engines you'll drag a little bit of time off of your quantum and there's less chance of overheating if you've got all your power to engines uh that do yeah we'll centralize that bit now let go of f and it will centralize the screen okay you can get up in your ship i'll wait till we're in quantum and then i'll get up now to open the moby glass you press f1 press f1 to close it not escape to open the map you press f2 now it doesn't even look like a map it looks rubbish so you can double right click to zoom out like so or if you're on a planet you can double left click to zoom in now we are going to clear that route because what we're going to do is we're going to get a mission i am going to go here skyline star citizen couldn't call it uh, no that's not that's the map and it's called skyline that's ridiculous isn't it call it a goddamn map because that's what it is but we're going to go to the contracts manager we're going to go there we're going to get our first little mission now okay so this is the contracts manager now where i am in new babbage i've never been here before it is basically everything is far away the planet is massive if you're in a starter ship i i i recommend you start somewhere a little bit smaller I'll go back to the map. I suggest you start either on Hurston. Don't start at Microtech. Start at Hurston or Arcourt. I don't think you can start at Olisar anymore as of the last patch. But Arcourt will give you a load of really close missions. Unfortunately for this, we're going to have to fly a long way to do our first mission because of where we started. But to that end, because we're on map, we're going to go to uh we'll go back to contracts manager i'm going to pick up a delivery mission 3957 credits where is it going to pilot will expect a shipment from crew okay so that's a long way to go we've got to go to crusader delivery missions are the easiest they use while you're learning that means you won't have to dogfight and all that kind of stuff so you can accept the offer it will click you can share it with a mate if you're any if you're teamed up with anyone you can share it there i'm not going to go into teams though it went beep i can now shut my moby glass and somewhere on my screen will be the direction that i want to go straight into the sun of course it's 58 billion miles away that's right so now i could press b and that will open my quantum drive now i could let it calibrate like that a lot of the times you'll press B on your mission and it won't come up. So we'll have to manually input our destination on the map. So we open it with F2. Now we are here and we've got to get all the way to there. We're looking at a really long flight and a lot of fuel. So I'm going to left click on there and I'm going to set route. Now our current fuel is 543 and our required fuel is 529. That's nearly going to use all of our fuel to get there, which is why I say again, park here. You're going to start off with no money. Unless you've used someone's referral, you might start off with 5,000. It only costs you about 100 to fill up your tank, so it's nothing. We could stop there and if we've got money and there's a truck stop there, so you could actually refuel. So we've set that route, we're going to shut the map. Now, you can see at the bottom middle of my screen, it shows you where my route is. So I can point in that general direction. Now we go like this, we press B, just tap B for Bravo. That will open and spool our quantum drive. Now if you go off of it, it will spool slower or it won't spool. If you go on it, it will like this the closer you are the quicker it will spawn now we are spawned up we're ready to go now if i hold down b then i'll enter quantum
Now, as you will notice, that timer is going down slowly. We are miles away from our first mission, which does suck, which is again why I state, don't start here. This is, you're probably better off starting here once you've upgraded your quantum drives and all that, and you'll get places a lot quicker. Now we're going to open our map, and we can actually see our progress you can see how close you are to the destination. That will slowly get smaller and smaller, that line. But what we're going to do, we'll go, now we're out of armistice, we will press Y to get out of our seat. Y for Yankee, that will make us stand up. Okay, dokily. Now, what we can do now, we'll go to F1. And we will go to our equipment manager. When you first start the game, your guns, weapons, armor might not be equipped. So we'll go weapon, weapon primary. Mine is a night. Well, yeah, you'll just start off with a sidearm. So we'll go weapon sidearm. Press equip. It will not equip until you save changes and equip. I.e., you can't just go click, press F1, and then carry on with gun. It won't work. If you want magazines equipped, you have to equip them, i.e. left click, equip, save changes and equip. It won't just automatically pick them out of your pocket when you press reload. Same, right, let's go utility tools as well actually. Uh, da, 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 utility. Now, have I got a utility tool? Yes, I've got a utility tool, so I'm going to left click to equip. Now, multi-tool attachment is empty. If you want to do mining, you've got to put that on. So, if you want the oxy cutter, you click that and equip it. If you want the mining attachment, left click. It will not equip until you save changes and equip. And then it'll be on your little belt just down here. Same as your gun. Notice weapons. Uh, weapon primary. I'll click that. Now you can see it's on my back there, but if I went out of the screen, it wouldn't be equipped. I'll have to save changes and equip. There. Shut this. Now to get out a weapon, you've got, well, I think it's one, two, and three. One is for your sidearm. Two is for your shooty, shooty, pew, pew. Three, I can't remember what multi-tool is. Multi-tool. Four is multi-tool. Right click to search and scan rocks. But I'm not going to go into that. That's for you to learn because it's almost like a mini game. Now I'm going to press 1 again to draw my pistol. I right click. And I will do the shooty shooty view. Let go of right click. I not do the shooty shooty view. You can shoot either way though. Reload. Tap R. My mags are full. To put your weapon away, hold down R. I'm going to get my weapon out again. If hold down R doesn't work for some reason, you can hold down F and do a multitude of different things with your weapon. You can stow it, carry it, drop it, inspect it, place it, or customize it. There you go. I'm going to put away my weapon with the R key. Sometimes you might be in quantum and it will drop out by itself. Before you enter quantum, quantum always make sure your ship is at a complete stop because it will normally Exit quantum as the same at the same speed that you entered quantum. I.e., if you exit at Port Olisar, you'll probably crash into Port Olisar. Especially if you're sat around messing around with guns. If you get out of your ship during quantum, you will stay here. Your ship will go away. I've tried it. Yes. Now, say for instance, you need to suicide. Right, you're, you're going to have crashes in this game, it's inevitable. So your ship's gone, but you're still here. You can hold down backspace and it will suicide you and take you to your last bed. Okay, for some reason I can't blow up my things. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to exit Quantum by holding down B. And it will take a while to do. You can hear it doing things. Right, so we held down B and yeah, it takes ages to come out of quantum in the smaller ships because of the lower quantum drive. Now, what I'm going to try and do, um, I've lost uh, my ship's 
knackered, I'm going to self-destruct. You will get a timer so you can leave your ship, unless I might even do it. See if we can get out in time. Have a look at the pew pew bang bang. Tap down F to jump out. I'm going to change the view. Watch the fireworks. Hopefully we won't die. We'll get far enough away. There we go. Now that's happened. Your ship's blown up. You're stuck in the middle of space. You can, if you're in the middle of the, in, if you're in the middle of space, there's no way of retrieving you. If your ship's blown up on a planet or something like that, you can go into opening your Moby Glass with F1 again. Go into your Contracts Manager and and put out a beacon. Create a beacon. Press to select personal transport or escort, personal transport, destination, wherever you're going, to my ship. Um, yeah, and you can enter how much you want to pay someone to do it. You can ask for their reputation level. If you're in space, you're pretty knackered. It's really hard to find your stuff. You're best off just hitting backspace. And I will go to third person again. And dying of all of the death. If a bug happens, this will generally be your option. You will have to die. You'll get stuck in an elevator or something stupid like that. You'll wake up in your fart sack. Okay. Right, so my ship's been destroyed. I'm going to get my ship and then I'm going to show you one last thing and that is landing. Because you sometimes, you have to ask for landing permission. Otherwise you get naughty policified. So F for the screen, this screen seems to have issues, but what I'm going to do, yeah, see I can't claim my ship, there we go, claim. Now, claim your ship, doesn't cost you money, it takes five minutes to claim this ship because it's only a little one. Now that timer will start to go down any minute now, there we go. Now, the expedited fee is naught at the moment, it's an alpha, oh there we go, 329, you'll notice that money goes down the longer you wait. So that will bring the time down to 50 seconds before I can get my ship. I am going to do that. It's only 320 quids and I've got loads of them. So I'm going to pay the expedited fee. Tells me how long I've got to wait for my ship there. Doesn't have to cost you any money. Terminals are buggy at the moment. Look, my ship is gone. If that's the case, it tends to be worse the more ships you've got. So go back into another terminal and it's there. Timer's up, retrieve. Pad one. Now, say you're here. Your friend gives you a lift to a space station four gabillion gajillion bananas away. And your ship has already been spawned here. You will probably have to retrieve your ship. And it will take time. Like you'll have to wait that five minutes. Because your ship is physically stored here. Not in the space station that you are going to with your friend. So be aware of that. Okie dokie. Press R. Welcome to space I don't care about shields because that's the way I roll. I'm not going to ask for takeoff permission because I'm on a pad. I don't need to. And landing gear up using the N key. Now I'm going to go a little bit further away. Scrolling up with my little mouse wheel. I can put my speed up. I'm not going to teach you how to decouple and things like that. If you're an elite player, that's like a flight assist off mode. Now, if you're spinning round and stuff, be aware that You've spun around, but you are going to have momentum. So you're going to have to thrust the other way to get that momentum to stop. Right, I'm going to try landing here. So what we're going to do is hold down F. We're going to go to menu. We're going to go to comms. Now it's not here. So chances are I'm going to have to scroll down. If you can't see the place... Try going a little bit closer. Sp 
base brake X. Chances are I'll overheat. I've only got a little engines. I'm going to use this MFD this time. And there we go. Because I'm close enough now, it's come up. I think it's about 5Ks. So now to ask for landing permission, I press the little Wi-Fi button. Holding down F, we'll do this. Let go of F, it'll just go back to normal view. Now a little spanner should pop up somewhere. There he is. When you're first learning in how to fly, don't hurtle in with your throttle max setting right up the top. Keep it nice and slow. I tend to try not to fly over other pads because you'll get a verbal warning and then you'll get nicked. Landing gear down with an N for November key. Now when I get a bit closer, you'll get like a little squarey boxy thing. Now when I come within that boxy thing, feel free to land manually. I always land manually, but there is an auto land. So you can go basically over it. Stop comfortably there. I'm going to change views just for fun. And I'm going to hold down the end for November key. Right, I'm not close enough. So we'll go in a little bit more. There. Hold it down for a couple of seconds, then you can let it go. Hands free, the ship will land by itself. Right, so we've covered movement. You can set your quantum, you can get a mission, you can set your quantum. Go to the mission place. That's fine. I could refuel here if I wanted to. I could go into my F1 menu now. I could go to my little spanner, vehicle maintenance, and I can refuel. There you go. Now, if it doesn't work, if these are all red, hover about three or four feet above the pad, and then these will work. It's been a glitch in previous patches, but that's how you refuel, like so, and confirm. There you go, I am now refueled. So we can get to our ship, we can spawn a ship, we can get on our ship, we can open our Movi glass and select a mission, we can quantum to our mission. When you get to your mission, I'm not telling you what to do there because that's your job and that is Star Citizen. You can refuel after your mission and you can land. I think that's everything you need to know. I hope it helped. If it did, give us a like and a subscribe. If it didn't, tell me what I could have added or taken away, and I will see you soon. Laters.